Hello and welcome to Three Minutes with Newman. This is Father Juan Velez. Today we continue with part seven of the Dream of Gerontius. As the Dream of Gerontius nears its end, the soul asks different questions to its angel. I see not those false spirits. Shall I see my dearest master when I reach his throne, or hear at least his awful judgment word, with impersonal intonation as I now hear thee, not see thee, angel? Hitherto all has been darkness since I left the earth. Shall I remain thus sight bereft all through my penance time? If so, how comes it then that I have hearing still and taste and touch, yet not a glimmer of that princely sense which binds ideas in one and makes them live? The angel explains that we can know about life after death through images and dreams. A disembodied soul thou hast by right, no converse with aught else beside thyself, but, lest so stern a solitude should load and break thy being, in mercy are vouchsafed some lower measures of perception which seem to thee as though through channels brought, through ear or nerves or palate which are gone, and thou art wrapped and swathed around in dreams, dreams that are true yet enigmatical. For the belongings of thy present state, save through such symbols, come not home to thee, and thus thou tellest of space and time and size, of fragrant, solid, bitter, musical, of fire and of refreshment after fire. Next the angel explains by means of an analogy with the pain felt after the loss of a limb, that, despite the loss of the body, we can perceive our being, and goes on to speak of the resurrection of the body and the beatific vision of God. So will it be until that joyous day of resurrection when thou wilt regain all thou hast lost, new made and glorified. How even now the consummated saints see God in heaven, I may not explicate. Meanwhile, let it suffice thee to possess such means of converse as are granted thee, though till that beatific vision thou art blind, for even thy purgatory which comes like fire is fire without its light. The soul is ready for purgatory, but expresses the wish to have one glimpse of Christ. His will be done. I am not worthy e'er to see again the face of day, far less his countenance, who is the very sun. Natheless, in life, when I looked forward to my purgatory, it ever was my solace to believe that ere I plunged amid the avenging flame, I had one sight of him to strengthen me. Newman puts words in the angel's mouth to convey his notion of the purifying vision of God. Then sight, or that which to the soul is sight, as by a lightning flash will come to thee, and thou shalt see amid the dark profound whom thy soul loveth, and would fain approach. One moment, but thou knowest not, my child, what thou dost ask. That sight of the most fair will gladden thee, but it will pierce thee too. Learn that the flame of the everlasting love doth burn ere it transform. Here on earth, let us accept suffering and privations, so that our Lord may purify us for the encounter with him, trusting that, if we do so, Jesus, who is everlasting love, will complete his work at the moment of death.